Hey guys, welcome back to Think Making. I'm Anton and today I'll show you some things you can do with these vast bits of filament. So let's get to it. Okay, so I'm sure you've been in this situation in which you're about to print something and then you notice you're almost out of filament. And of course, neither you nor I know what the 75 grams of filament needed for the dragon look like in the spool. So you're afraid of running out of filament when only the head is missing. So you end up just pushing the roll aside and never using it. But that's a waste of filament and money. So I'll show you a couple of things you can do to use all that filament. The first and easiest thing is just to print small things. And by that, I mean stuff that takes up less than 10 or even 5 grams of filament, like keychains or pins for example. Second, you can print a vase. The cool thing here is that if you run out of filament mid-print, you just end up with a shorter vase. And if the vase ended up very short, well, you have a bowl. Third, use it on a 3D pen. You can remove the remaining filament from the spool and use the filament to draw using a 3D pen. Usually, you don't need much filament for 3D pen projects. And if you still don't have one, I'll link one down below. Fourth, although I don't recommend this one that much, you can actually fuse two or more filaments together using a lighter or other methods. However, I'm not crazy about this method because it is much more likely for the filament to get stuck in the Bowden tube or in the hot end. So, mm -mm. Or it can break where it was fused together during retractions. And I don't like playing a guessing game whether my print will fail or not. Yet, if you want to turn Rambo mode on and do some crazy stuff, I won't stop you. There are many designs in Thinkiverse that will help you achieve better results. And fifth, you can chop the remaining filament or scraps into smaller pieces and put it in the oven at a relatively low temperature. This will melt it and fuse it together. You can create awesome stuff doing this. Devin at Make Anything did a great video on this method and made some very cool stuff with his leftovers. So go ahead and check him out. Just make sure you don't burn your house down. That wouldn't be good. In conclusion, when you're left with only a few meters of filament, there's actually stuff you can do with it. So don't just throw it away and maximize the use you give to each spool you buy. If you do something different with your leftover filaments, I want to know, so leave it in the comment section down below. Well guys, that's it for this video. Remember to tag ThinkMaking in Instagram or Twitter to get a chance to get your creations featured. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you loved it, feel free to support me through Patreon or by buying some cool stuff in my merch store. Links down in the description. And if you don't want to miss any of my videos, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're wondering what to watch next, check out this videos. Again guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.